Howdy folks, Brother Jim reporting here. Probably going to be the last report of the day. Hot off the press. Breaking news. Huge official IMHE model for coronavirus used by CDC. Just cut their numbers by half. They're making it up as they go along. Because they know they've been found out by people like me and many others. This is quite stunning. The government models used to predict the extent of the coronavirus pandemic are off by huge margins in the latest coronavirus tracking numbers. The government predictions were reported by the IMHE COVID tracking. Here's the link right there. For April 5th were as follows. All beds were need that were needed, 179,000. ICU beds needed, 33,000. And invasive ventilators, 26,000. There's your actual chart picture right there. 10 days until peak resource use on April 15th. These numbers were posted on their website yesterday, the Sunday. Those were predictions. The actual numbers as recorded at the COVID tracking project, actual hospitalizations were only 22,158 in ICU. 15 5,200 on ventilator, a mere 656. The actual numbers show via Dr. Ned Nikoloff. Overestimation of hospitalizations, eight times. Overestimation of ICU beds needed, 6.4 times. Overestimation of ventilators needed, almost 41 times. So overnight, the IMHE, the official group, Dr. Fonsi and Dr. Burks, the globalists, have been promoting cut their numbers by more than half. Here's what the IMHE now has for April 5th. All beds needed was 179,000, now is 90,000. ICU beds needed was 33,000, now it's 17,000. Invasive ventilators was 26,000, now is 14,900. You know, it's funny because it was only a couple of days ago, I think it was two days ago, that Dr. Fossey says you can't trust the models. That's about the only true thing he's ever said. You can't trust Dr. Fossey one iota. They cut their projections by almost half and they're still way too high. Here's a chart of it. They're making it up as they go along. This is completely unacceptable at this time in history and with the technology in place, it is absolutely shocking that this could happen and destroy the United States economy. Millions of Americans will lose their job due to this panic-driven lockdowns. Already have, and many have already committed suicide because of it. The first people to be fired should be the ones who drove the panic. More hot off the press, outrageous top experts used by CDC moved total U.S. coronavirus deaths from 2.2 million to 200,000 to 81,000 in only eight days and they're going to say it's because we mitigated it last tuesday coronavirus tax reforce or excuse me task force response coordinator dr deborah burks pushed the talking point that by completely locking down the u.s economy and american public the u.s government and coronavirus task force experts were able to cut the total coronavirus deaths in the united states from one to two point me 2 million deaths to 100,000 to 200,000 deaths. This is made based on models by her chosen scientific experts, Chris Murray and the IMHE. Here's the chart Dr. Burks discussed during the daily coronavirus press conference at the White House. It shows an estimated 2.2 million deaths. Again, this was at the press conference six days ago. There's not a single country in the world today with over 16,000 total coronavirus deaths. On Sunday night, the IMHE cut their numbers in half. Well, I'll let you read the rest of that because we're going to move on. Reduce the death toll and save lives, quote unquote. Drones seen flying over New York Park, barking orders at people to maintain social distancing, just like China. Sickening. This is what the Democrats like de Blasio and Cuomo are doing. 
in New York. A drone was seen flying over Manhattan Park on Saturday, urging people to maintain social distancing. New York is currently the U.S. epic center of the coronavirus pandemic with 122,000 confirmed cases and 4,159 deaths. Remember, many of those deaths are from pneumonia and you just don't know it. Drones were used in China to bark orders at citizens and now they're being used in the U.S. So what is the Democrats following? The CCP, the communists. Now what you got to say, they're Antifa, who love the Democrats, who beat up patriots, who beat up soldiers, retired service members, in wheelchairs? That's what you did in Berkeley. Sickening people. Frightening. This is the anti-COVID-19 volunteer drone task force. A booming voice said over a loudspeaker from the drone. Please maintain a social distance of at least six feet. Again, please maintain social distancing. Please help stop the spread of this virus. Reduce the death toll and save lives. Right. Meanwhile, stopping all the economy and commerce is what's increasing the death toll by far. Believe it or not. Oh, yes. Not only do we have three times the amount of committing suicides, but we have 75% increase robbery and theft in New York right now. That's right. Right now. It already happened. Too late. It's already happened in just the last month. Thank you for your cooperation in killing each other. Oh, sorry, I added to that. It's sickening, folks. This is wrong. Licensed physician in Utah unable to prescribe hydroxychloroquine to the patients of COVID-19 because state has taken over the distribution of drug. And no wonder why we have suicides. Well, let's see, I can't even get medicine to get healed. They're killing us, aren't they? A licensed physician in Utah said on Sunday that he is unable to prescribe hydroxychloroquine because the state has taken over the distribution of the drug. It's a concerted effort, all the Democrats. Dr. Bill MD is trained extensively in diagnosis and treatment of human disease. Dr. Bill is a contributor to Debbie Aldrich's show, and according to Aldrich's website, Dr. Bill majored in medical biology, graduating magna cum laude at age 19. Graduated from medical school at 23 from Miami University Medical School, interned at Mount Sinai Medical Center before beginning his own practice, but that doesn't matter to them. They want the people dead. Dr. Bill opened his private practice at 26, hired four medical doctors, a, a PA and 12 nurses, growing to one of the largest private family practices in Utah. Dr. Bill also built the six, six medical office buildings in a 10-year span housing his practice in three of those buildings. Dr. Bill sold his very successful family practice to the Intermountain Medical Center. He is a, still a licensed doctor providing medical care to the community while continuing as an entrepreneur. In other words, Dr. Bill is a brilliant doctor and knows more about treatments of diseases than government officials. I am a licensed physician in Utah, he says. I tried to prescribe hydroxychloroquine, but the pharmacist said the state had taken over the distribution of the drug. Even though I'm licensed, I cannot prescribe it. This is wrong, Dr. Bill said in a tweet. Bill followed up in his second tweet and said, we are in the middle of a pandemic and need to be a little liberal with rules. Little does he know how dark the deep state is, huh? The FDA last week issued an emergency authorization for experimental coronavirus treatments using chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, reported Forbes. The Department of Health and Human Services said Sunday hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine products can be distributed and prescribed by doctors through the strategic national stockpile to hospitalize teen and adult patients with COVID-19 as appropriate when clinical trials not available or feasible. The agency is fast-tracking a process that usually takes years while the FDA conducts clinical trials in New York, a hotspot for the virus. There's no reason to have clinical trials. It's proven that the chloroquine kills all the viruses 
all the, the COVID viruses. This is COVID-19. HHS said the emergency authorization was issued because the potential benefits of the product outweigh the risk and acknowledge that anecdotal, anis, I don't know how to pronounce that, anecdotal reports uh, suggest that these drugs may offer some benefit in the treatment of hospitalized COVID-19 patients. It's sad, isn't it? It's so sad they're trying to kill as many people just to try and impeach Trump. That's what they do because they want their power. Thank you for listening. May the Lord bless.